colleagues, my name is João Santos Antunes. I am a gastroenterologist and endoscopist at gastroenterology department of Centro Hospitalar San Juan, in Porto, Portugal. And I am the main investigator of a project regarding the management of non-curative ESTs. Together with colleagues from Europe and Australia, we have now published an article entitled Risk of Residual Neoplasia After a Non-Curative Colorectal EST for Malignant Lesions, a multinational study. We conducted this project after verifying that, in our center, more than 70% of the patients that are submitted to surgery due to a non-curative ESD did not have any residual neoplasia in the surgical specimen, neither in the ESD site or in the lymph nodes. Therefore, we think that better criteria for referring these patients for surgery are needed. So in this study, we analyzed the outcomes of patients with a non-curative ESD performed for colorectal cancer. From a total of 2,255 colorectal ESD, 381 were non-curative, and from those, 135 were performed in a T1 lesion, in patients that, after the ESD, were submitted to surgery or had at least one follow-up endoscopy. In our study, we proposed two scores, the NC lymph score and the NC wall score. We found that patients that had lymphatic permeation or poor differentiation must be submitted to surgery due to a high risk of lymph node metastasis, and that piecemeal resection, poor differentiation and positive or undetermined vertical margin increases the risk of residual lesion in the wall. Interestingly, we found that residual rate for SM1 cancers was 0%, despite the presence of other risk factors. And for deeply invasive cancers, residual rate was also 0% if no other risk factors were present. We think that this kind of multinational projects are extremely important for a better patient selection after an uncurative ESD. Our next step is to conduct another study with different patients in order to perform an external validation of our results. Also, we aim to evaluate the outcome of non curative EST in other organs of the GI tract. I would like to thank all the colleagues from Portugal, Spain, France, Belgium, Austria, Italy and Australia for the collaboration. We are surely open to new colleagues and centers that would like to join our research group. I truly believe that we will continue to perform important research in the area of ESD, like this work that was now published in Endoscopy. Thank you.